What's going on guys, Ray right here. So you guys all thought that uh, Dale Earnhardt died in 2001 at Daytona. Nah, he just retired and moved to Wisconsin. Woo, woo hoo hoo. What's going on Dale? Can we get a Dale yeah? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's got some pep for a V6. I like a little smoke back there. Yeah, it's, it's got it's got some get up and go for a V6. Holy cow. When I, when I had it out on 50, I parked it a couple of times. Yeah. And it just you know, started taking off. Yeah. The sunglasses, it's hard to watch that speedometer. Right. Yeah, Dale didn't need any speedometer. Nah. 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 Oh, uh, and you know, we got we got some plans, you know, maybe over the winter or something like that. Um, we got we got some plans. Yeah, my money. Yeah. <laughs> His plans are my money. I think my plans will make it look real good though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So yesterday when I went to edit the video and to make this video, I realized I kept saying um 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 uh, 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 um 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 um. So I am going to redo this video and uh, hopefully it'll turn out better. All right guys, so I want to introduce you guys to the Dale car as I'm calling it. This is my dad's 1985 uh, Chevy Monte Carlo LS. It has the 4.3 liter uh, V6 and uh, it is his retirement gift uh, to himself. I'm really proud of him for finally getting himself a toy that he can really enjoy. Okay guys, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history of this car. The car was built in North Carolina uh, by a gentleman who was an avid Earnhardt fan. He built it actually, uh, I believe the year after Earnhardt had died. He started to build it, started to put the pieces all together, and um, the paint job on this thing, he said that he went with a low-tech paint job to kind of match the uh, the era of the time of the race cars you know they didn't have a whole lot of tech in the paint so he went with a cheaper low-tech paint job uh, and for I want to say 16 or 17 year old paint oh, man it's, it looks so good still it looks so good still and the decals guys the decals are actually from RCR Richard Childress Racing and I think that is one of the coolest parts uh, about this car, how authentic you know, the decals are and everything like that. Okay guys, so a couple things I wanna show you right off the bat of what the original owner did. We, didn't, we haven't changed anything to this car yet. Uh, there are still things that we have planned of what we wanna to do to the car, but we have not changed anything on this car yet. Now obviously, the paint job, originally the car was like a light blue, I think. Uh, he painted it black, like I'd mentioned earlier with the low-tech, like stock car style paint job. The decals, RCR decals. The tires and wheels. He's got the tires and wheels, the wide uh, Goodyear, like NASCAR style tires with the, uh, I want to say like Bassett Racing wheels. Coming down here, as you can see, there is an exhaust like um, cutout here. But, funny thing is, um, it's just for appearance. It's just for looks. When we seen it in pictures and we went to look at the car, we're like, man, I wonder how it's gonna sound, you know, V6 is gonna sound like that. Uh, but the guy goes, yeah, it's just for looks. The guy just put it there for looks. So, you know, it gets some attention. Moving around back to the front. I absolutely love this. This is one of the things that I think really stands it like out. Um, the like headlight, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, like brackets or um, plates, but it's got a grill here to allow you know the headlight to shine through. Um, the plate that is so reminiscent of the 1980s race cars. It's got the grill, the actual mesh grill here. Uh, it's like heavy duty, nice mesh, and you can actually see um, the actual real grill is behind it. And right here, it's got for both headlights. And even lower, it has uh, more of the grill for the turn signals. All right, coming up here, of course, it's gonna have the three and the Dale Earnhardt signature um, on the roof. Uh, this is cool too. I think this is really cool. It has the uh, brackets for 
the uh, windshield like the real stock cars did. Now another one of my favorite pieces of this car, the spoiler. Check this thing out. Like it is a heavy duty spoiler. The way that he made it and everything, I mean look at that, look at that reflection. For 16 or 17 year old paint, man this thing is sweet. It is, it still looks awesome. And us being up in Wisconsin, you know, dealing with all the salt and everything, you would not find a car this clean up here in Wisconsin. So, of course, it came from North Carolina. All right, moving on to the interior of the car. Now, this is a pretty stock interior. I'm actually gonna flip the camera around. All right, so as you can see here, the interior is pretty darn stock. Uh, still has the, uh, what do you call that, 60-40 split seating. Um, it has, now the real cool thing is it has a NASCAR, like, old school steering wheel in this thing. Um, and it's funny because trying to get in the car, if it's lowered like that, your thighs will automatically hit the steering wheel. So you have to actually put it up um, before you can get in or out. I'm still trying to talk my dad into getting the quick release. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, now, one of the coolest things about this car is that right there. The signature from Chocolate Myers, Danny Chocolate Myers. Uh, he was a longtime gas man and crew member for Richard Childress Racing and uh, Dale Earnhardt. And uh, we actually have a picture of him signing the car. And uh, I just think that's actually one of the coolest things about this car. Um, I really, I would really, really love to take this car with my dad down to North Carolina, uh, maybe stop at some race shops, maybe just by luck, if anybody sees this video and can get us in contact, with uh, Dale Jr., Kelly, you know, the family. Um, I think it would be so cool to bring it down after some things that we do to the car. And, you know, it'd be the coolest thing to have them maybe sign the dash too. Or even Richard Childress, the man himself. Uh, I think that'd be really cool. All right, guys, that brings us to what we want to do with this car. Uh, the previous owner had actually said how he still wanted to do so many different things to the car as far as putting a bigger engine in it, V8 engine, uh, four-speed trans, uh, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, I was talking to my dad, and it's almost like, I think it's so cool and fitting how we got this car to kind of carry on the legacy um, of the car and what the original owner had started. So real quick, let me mention that I'm going to post up some pictures also of this car. Um, I'm going to post up some pictures and you can see how the ride height of the car, like there's a gap, you know, in the uh, wheel wells. In the pictures, it was slammed like a stock car would, you know, real low, uh, not much of a gap at all, um, you know, in the fender wells. So the original owner said that he had heat treated the front springs to lower the car down and he used clamps, spring clamps, to, um, you know, lower the back end. Uh, so it sat real nice and low and flat. Uh, we, I want to do it, my dad's kind of leery about it, but I want to lower it again because I think it really gives it that stock car look when it's lowered. Alright guys, I'm going to tell you some things we already bought for the car, waiting for them to come in from eBay or whatever. I found stick-on hood pins. I was looking at this car and I'm like, it's missing something, it's just missing something. Hood pins. Stick-on hood pins. We ordered uh, three sets of them. So they come in pairs of two, so we got three sets, uh, four for the front, two for the back, the deck lid. And, um, you know, just looking at it, it's like, it's, it looks like a stock car, but it's just missing a few things to give it that real look of a stock car. And I think once we get the hood pins on there, it will look just like 10 times like more awesome, more authentic. Another thing that I was kind of telling my dad, talking to my dad about, was um, getting some sort of bracing, like, you know, fake bracing, of course, but maybe taking some strips of uh, sheet metal or something, painting it flat black and putting it in the front windshield um, to act as the actual bracing of the windshields, you know, like back in the day. Same goes for the rear, just to have two braces uh, you know, there and there uh, on the rear, I think would, you know, give it just a little bit more of that look. Next thing for the exterior. I know it's got to be out there somewhere, but as you can see, to be not as authentic, 
there's no uh, fuel door. There's no fuel, you know, system. So there's got to be some sort of vinyl sticker that somebody can make or that's out there that you could put there to make it look more authentic. Uh, I, it's got to be out there. If somebody knows somebody who could do it, you know, shoot me a message. You know, shoot me a comment down here. Uh, I want to know if it can be done. Just we want to try. We want to just put it on, see how it looks. If we don't like it, we just peel it off. Next thing, window net. There is no headliner in this car, so we're thinking we're we got all our wheels turning of what we're gonna do to this car. But when for the time being, when we take it to some car shows and stuff, uh, I want to get a window net just to put up to you know give it that cool NASCAR style look. Uh, but just get a window net here. The previous owner had a window net, and of, of course I said I'm gonna post some pictures of the previous owner when he had it. Uh, he had a window net, he had uh, Simpson seat belts on the seats, and that is actually gonna bring us to the interior again. I wanna get rid of these seats. I think my dad's on board with it too, but I kinda wanna get the uh, either Jags, the like drag racing high back seats, um, you know, put those in here uh, with the five-point racing harness, uh, you know, the front and passenger seat, get that in there. Um, back seat, you know, we're going to leave it pretty much as is. And the previous owner, so as you can see, no headliner. Previous owner did put, uh, there we go, he painted that orange to match um, the interior of Earnhardt's car. Now the problem is, it doesn't, there's just that that's the only kind of orange that they put in here and maybe you know also uh, right here on the a pillar so it's like if you really want to make it authentic you're gonna have to really gut the interior depending on how far we want to go with this car I told my dad if it was my car I would totally gut the interior make it as stock car as possible you know taking all the seats out uh, dash I mean we'd have to save chocolate Myers we'd have to save his signature um, but just you know making making sheet metal panels um, to put over the door panels or replacing the door panels with the sheet metal panels making it look nice but as stock car as possible this surprised me my dad wants to put some sort of roll cage in this car whether it be a bolt together kit he even said he would like to do maybe go on the cheap and do like a PCV pipe kit, uh, which I, we could do it. I know we could do it. Uh, it's just a matter of making it not look so janky. And I think it could be done. Uh, I think it could be done and I think we could make it look pretty cool. But uh, it's just how far we wanna go with this car. Uh, it's tough. And like my dad said earlier in the video, uh, we're doing our ideas with his money. So to me, I'm like, Dad, it's your retirement present for your, from yourself to yourself, whatever. Whatever you want to do with this car, it's yours. Um, I'm just kind of putting ideas in his head. Uh, and I don't know, I think some of my ideas are pretty good. But some other people might look at the car and just like it as is, as a cruiser. But we, we got some ideas. Lastly, I don't want to say lastly because it's a very important important step the engine there's so many different engine options that you can do with this vehicle I've been looking it up all over the forums to see what you could drop in this car um, I was seeing I was trying to see if you could drop just drop a 350 easily into the car it seems like you might have to change some framing things uh, if anybody is watching this video and knows if you can drop a 350 engine right into an 85 Monte Carlo. Please let me know. Please let me know because if you've done it, you gotta let me know. Um, my dad also still has a, oh God, what is it called? Um, it was a Borg Warner Super T6, I think. Uh, four speed trans that came out of a 77 Camaro. He still has it in the garage, been sitting in there for years and years. He would love to put a four speed made it up with a 350 or some sort of you know nice like mean sounding engine uh, for this car and I just think it would be so cool you know to actually have a V8 four-speed trans 
you know, make it look more stock car and just make it a really good cruising car. I'm just so excited for my dad in this next chapter in his life to finally get to enjoy some things. And like I said, like he's never really bought in himself any kind of toys, um, snowmobiles here and there, but not any kind of car. He's a big car guy, loves cars and just so happy for him. So congratulations, dad, on your retirement. Uh, I love you. And um, I'm just really excited to see what uh, we can do with this car. All right, guys, so that's going to do it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any other questions about this car, if I left anything out, I hope I didn't. But if I did, um, you know, drop it in the comments. Uh, tell me what you want to know about the car, anything like that. All right, guys, so until the next video, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye-bye.